Once you have events showing up in the upcoming tab, you can set up jumps so the note taker is sent to your video calls automatically. To do this, go to user settings in the bottom left corner, click on the preferences tab, and then scroll down until you see the option to automatically add note taker to your upcoming meetings. Ensure that the button is toggled on and then click the save button. When Jump sees an event in the upcoming tab, it's going to scrub the event on your calendar for a meeting link. If it finds one, it's going to generate an icon associated to the type of meeting link here in the upcoming tab. For example, since this meeting is going to be a Google Meets meeting, you can see the Google Meets icon here in Jump. As long as you have the meeting link in the location or the description field of the event, Jump will be able to locate the link and populate the associated icon in the upcoming tab. If you have the automatically add note taker to upcoming meetings option toggled on, the note taker icon will be toggled on automatically for any event in the upcoming tab. You can turn the note taker button off if you don't want the note taker to show up to your meeting. Your note taker will only attend meetings if this button is toggled on. If you see the record in person message next to an event, this is Jump's way of telling you that we can't find a link in the event, meaning that you either plan to record the meeting in person, or you don't need to use the note taker to capture this meeting. So if this is going to be a video call, make sure you go to the event on your calendar and update it with the link so that Jump knows where to send the note taker. Since Jump will only automatically send the note taker to meetings that are showing up in your upcoming tab, you may need to on occasion send the note taker manually to your meeting by clicking on the new meeting button in the top left corner and then clicking on the option to send the note taker to meeting. Jump is going to ask you for a meeting URL and this is going to be the same URL you would share with a client to invite them to join your video call or the same link you yourself would use to start the meeting. Once you've entered the URL, click send note taker and the note taker will join your video call momentarily. A good example for when you need to send the note taker to your meeting manually is when a client texts you and asks you to hop into an unplanned video call. Again, if Jump doesn't know about the meeting and the meeting isn't showing up in your upcoming tab, then Jump will have no way of knowing where to send the note taker automatically. So you may need to on occasion manually send the note taker. When your note taker joins the video call, you'll see a window appear in your Jump portal in the top left corner indicating that the note taker is in the Zoom room. Along with seeing the status of the note taker, you can also use this window in the top left corner to kick the note taker by clicking on the X icon. You can click on the pause icon to temporarily pause the note taker from capturing the meeting. Then when you're ready for the note taker to continue capturing the meeting, you can click on the play icon. You may use the pause feature if the client tells you they're about to tell you something sensitive and they don't want it to be on record. If you plan to send the note taker to Zoom meetings, it's important to understand Zoom specific policies for participant recording a meeting. Zoom requires that any participant that's in a Zoom room that wants to record a meeting receive explicit permission from the host. So if you're not the host, it's good practice to be logged into your Jump portal and keep an eye on the top left corner window to see if the note taker is recording. If the note taker isn't recording, you may need to ask the host to give it permission to record.